Shout out to JJ McGraw for sending me this story. And this is another DNU story. For those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what DNU stands for, it is Dumb Negroes United. And before I get into it, JJ McGraw, I cannot change this to Dumb Niggas United because of what you responded with. Yes, you two will most likely take it down because of that title. So we're going to keep it as DNU. As a matter of fact, I can't even, I probably wouldn't even put it as dumb negroes united is typing the whole thing out because they might do the same thing so i'm playing it safe but anyway today we will be talking about a man by the name of bruce gordon who and unfortunately is back in florida i know y'all hate well hate sometimes when i do florida stories because like oh shit it's a story from florida so we expect the worst so this guy in florida allegedly beat this woman or who um it says girl but i'm just i'm hoping that it's a woman and not an underage girl at a panda express because she rejected his advances whenever i hear stories about a guy beating on a woman because she rejected his advances instantly i'm thinking incel that's the vibes that i get instantly from that well let's get into it a Florida man beat a girl unconscious for rejecting his advances while waiting in line at a Panda Express. Like, beat her unconscious? <laughs> Bruce Edward Gordon, age 37, was arrested Tuesday at the Coastland Center Mall in Naples, where he claimed to the cops claimed to where he claimed. Who wrote this? The person who wrote this uh messed this part of the sentence up. This is claimed to cops the juvenile victim. Oh, claim to cops. Okay, I read it wrong. The juvenile victim approached him in the food court without provocation and called him a bitch before throwing a cup of water on his shirt. Gordon of Naples said he then turned around and punched the girl multiple times in an act of self-defense before a bystander, the girl's brother, hit him with a chair. But a witness at the food court who said he was in line at the Panda Express with the pair told the officers the girl asked Gordon to leave her alone when he started flirting with her. And that's probably, if that's the case, that's probably why she launched that B word at him. And that's what set him off. An angry Gordon then called the girl a bitch before heading to his table. Moments later, he allegedly got up and beat the girl unconscious, punching her in the face and stomping on her as she was motionless on the ground. Gordon kept kicking the girl into her brother through the chair. The girl, whose age was not released by authorities, was later treated at a hospital for a severe concussion and injuries to her head, jaw, face, and lips. So, it was a girl, and it sounds to me that, like, she could have been underage because they would not have referred to someone over the 18 as a girl. So, this per this person sounds like they were a minor, which makes me look at him with an even bigger side eye. Her uh, injuries are not believed to be life-threatening gordon remained in custody on a battery charge wednesday at the collier county jail online records show the charge was upgraded to a felony due to a prior battery conviction like i like i have said in plenty of my other videos if she don't want you she don't want you and then on top of that they said this is a girl so i'm assuming that she's a minor and they said they never released her age which leads me to believe even more now that she's a minor you are a 37 year old man what are you doing trying to talk to a minor girl at all? But he just basically, you see, he was going to go off of his story saying that, oh, that she threw a drink at him and called him a B word, which makes me wonder why would someone just randomly come up to somebody and just do that? Like for what? And then the other witness came out and said what they said. I said, okay, now it all makes sense. So this guy, in my opinion, not only should he, he's, he's definitely going to get some heavy assault charges, but also he should get something for the fact that he tried to uh, flirt with a, what apparently is a minor. I swear, there's some stupid people in this world. I don't know what it is in the water or what have you. I'm not going to just limit it to Florida, but Florida does have some crazies down there. You're looking at one on your screen. But it's some, it is some deranged people walking amongst us i bet if we had a meter that could detect who was crazy it would probably scare the hell out of us y'all let me know what you think 